welcome to a new lecture of electronics and i will start this topic with a simple question the question is very simple and uh, many students have this question in mind but they seldom ask this question and if they are asked in the viva or in any examination process the student finds difficulty to answer the question is does the amplification process violate the conservation of energy now what have you learnt in this uh, amplification process that if this is your input signal this is input now when you are using a tr transistor amplifier proper amplification means the amplitude of this voltage is increasing this is output now voltage means energy this means you are giving some input energy and out at the output you are getting an increased amount of energy how is it possible where does the energy uh, come from or where does the energy is adding into the output this is a very important question so we have to understand this important question we have to understand the basic thing the output sinusoidal signal it is greater than the input signal is amplification or and i explained you in the previous lectures that amplification specifically means the power amplification and power is related to energy amplification means amplification means the amplification or a gain in power amplification or gain in power and power is related to energy work done per unit time now how does this energy is coming in the output this appears to be a violation of the energy principle conservation of energy says that over time the total power output of a system it cannot be greater than the input power so if we consider the efficiency p output by p input it should not be greater than 1 it is not allowed not allowed this violates energy conservation then how does this amplification is occurring energy conservation is violated and you know that any practical application or any theory in physics it should be consistent with the conservation of energy this is very important this is a very important topic that you should know now our definition of amplification is missing something that is why it appears that there is a violation of energy energy conservation principle what we are missing is that that the amplification it permits an ac power output greater than the ac power input input and there is also a dc component what i mean to say that the amplification process permits an ac power output greater than the input ac power this greater than the input ac power this extra energy is coming from the applied dc we have seen that the dc we are when we are applying the dc dc biasing it is setting the q point and it is for stabilizing it is for biasing the circuit base emitter forward bias base collector collector reverse bias so the basic definition of amplification amplification is a process we are missing something in this definition that is causing this problem that is causing this controversy amplification is a process where for an input ac power where an input ac power is amplified 
is amplified how it is amplified is amplified means the output power is greater than the input ac power amplified the output power is greater than the input power because because of the applied dc we must remember that during amplification it is not only we have the ac signal we have a dc supply also the dc supply is used to properly bias the transistor base emitter terminal should be forward bias base collector terminal should be reverse bias this biasing is done by dc not only the dc is biasing it is replaying it is functioning to bias the transistor it is also providing some energy this energy is added up in the total energy means the total energy is the sum of ac and dc the dc power or the dc voltage contributes to the total output power although there is some dissipation in the resistive elements the dc power or sim in simple words the dc voltage contributes to contributes to the total power and total power is ac plus dc or write me let me write in the proper notation so that it is always uh, it is fixed to your mind that what type of notation we use for ac and dc ac plus dc capitals for dc small letters for ac so total power is the sum of ac and dc and this dc power or dc voltage has a contribution in the output power it should not be forgotten it should not be missed so in other words we can say there is an exchange of dc power to the ac domain that establishes or that creates a high output ac power there is an exchange of dc power to the ac domain or ac range and thus output power is enhanced or you can say there is amplification so there is no violation of energy conservation principle and the output power is enhanced or amplified sorry i have repeated this thing let me erase this or the output power is output is amplified so you should not forget the contribution of the dc you have a dc along with the ac it is not that without dc you are just applying the ac and there will be a amplification because you have to first bias the transistor and biasing is done by the ac the q point is fixed by the ac so the conversion efficiency that we define in case of transistor it is not simply power output by power input conversion efficiency conversion efficiency for transistor it is eta and this proper definition of eta is power output 
इन एसी बाय पावर इनपुट इन डीसी पावर इनपुट इन डीसी दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कन्वर्जन एफिशिएंसी फॉर अ ट्रांजिस्टर so when you use this definition there is no violation of this energy conservation principle it you are totally safe you are not violating anything so if someone asks you that uh, can you explain whether the energy conservation is violated in the amplification process because it is a very trivial question many times in order just in or i am please saying you clearly that just in order to confuse you the examiner may ask this question just to test your understanding of the things and the moment the examiner will ask this question you will be surprised you will be shocked that yes there is a, of course there is a violation of energy conservation but no process no practical application is uh, is valid if there is a failure of the conservation principles energy conservation mass conservation momentum conservation angular momentum conservation these ma uh, charge conservation these are some factors that must be followed in every law in every branch of physics so if someone asks you in the transistor case you can explain you can give this answer that it is the contribution of the dc is also there in the output you can dc is the dc factor is very important it is not only biasing the transistor properly it is not only used to set the q point it contributes to the total output power and total output power is ac plus dc so due to the dc con contribution there is an increased output power and the conversion efficiency is defined as the power input in a output in ac to the power input by dc this is the correct expression for efficiency so if uh, you have any query or if you have any question you can ask in the comment section and i strongly hope that this uh, lecture that this session will be very helpful to you so please subscribe and share and like the videos and support me thank you